For a goblet squat, you can either use a kettlebell or a dumbbell or some other weight. The idea though is that you're holding it in the goblet position. So hands are actually held on the bottom part of the weight. Your elbows are held in close and that way you have a lot of support underneath the weight so it doesn't tip over. So usually at your chest is where it's going to end up. Whenever you do a goblet squat, you want to set your feet up about a shoulder width or hips width wide and you're going to turn your toes out quite a bit, especially for a squat type movement. So make sure that you're familiar with what's comfortable for your hips. From here, you're keeping your weight centered, but allowing your hips to press back as your knees bend. And you're going to drop your elbows down as close between your knees as you can. So notice my knees aren't falling inward. Instead, I'm keeping that outward pressure on my knees as I squat down, and then I'll stand back up. Now, if you can't get down that low and you can only do half of a squat, that's fine as well. But the cue is the same. You want to feel that your elbows are dropping downward without bending through the back. So still keeping a little lift through the chest as if you're trying to lift your chest into the kettlebell and then you'll squat down and back. Constant tension through those hips and then if you need a heavier weight, go up in your weight on your kettlebell or dumbbell.